Welcome to the table, Ricky. All right. What do we have here? I would like you to press play. Okay. Good mouse for an FPS and accuracy. Pew pew. I need buttons, just a few. Great glide and movement. Amazing sensor and comfort. Excellent accuracy. Whoa. What you just saw was what people claim to be the most accurate gaming mouse. No way! Are you ready to unwrap? Oh, anytime. Take your iPad. Give me that gaming mouse. All right, here we go. Boom. All right, here we have it. Whew. Let me just get straight into it. Which one is it? It's the Pro. Okay. This is called the Logitech G Pro. This is the wired version. I can tell from the box right there. We got here their slogan, one purpose, play to win. Dude, I like that. And here there's a lot of little details like the weight. Oh, and it has the PMW3366 sensor. Pretty cool stuff. Only thing I'm really interested in here is that 12,000 DPI. That's a pretty high number. I mean, nothing too interesting there with all those numbers. Let's just go right into it. We got a blue cardboard here that has a cutout of the Logitech logo. I think it's just to hold it all together. And we also have a safety compliance warranty information panel. I'll put that on the side. That's the sensor right there. That's the P whatever number it was. That's the one right there. All right. So right away, I did notice here, the shape of this mouse is very, very small. As you can see here, I do have a pretty small hand, but look how small it is. If you guys have ever seen the G203, it looks very similar. I've used the G203 before. I'm almost pretty sure it's the exact same body as well. The design overall, very sleek, very simple. Like, you know, the bare bones of what a gaming mouse should be. You have their two side buttons right there. Got the DPI, I got the mouse wheel here. Very simple. Oh, listen to this. That's some soft plastic right there. No fingerprints. I like that a lot. It's not that mirror finish, like the Razer Abyssus mirror, if you have seen that mouse before. They also have a bit of uh, aesthetics here. This is that glossy plastic between the scroll wheel. Just kind of runs down the middle there. Gives it a really cool look. Whoa, look at that. It's nice. I don't like huge mice, and this is exactly the kind of size that I look for. For someone like me, who is a fingertip grip user, this feels like home. All right, and here you have it. Very simple design. One, two, three, four, five feet to make sure that it glides well. That's all you need. This is a nice braided cable, and you guys can check that out here. Really sturdy. There is no visible signs of fraying already. Really well done. I do like that. Oh my god, this is so long, and yeah, it's not stiff. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this. It's a bit heavy, but not too much. Let's go straight into what you've all been waiting for. I know I'm just as excited as you guys. Oh yeah, you know, the Logitech mouses always have that nice, crispy, fast clicking mouse switches. I really like that. They're actually kind of medium clicks. If you like super light clicks, it might feel a bit heavier than what you're used to, but it's perfect to me at least. Now let's try out that DPI switch. A lot of mouses do a more stiffer, rigid DPI switch, but this one actually feels a lot like the left click and right click, and it does feel satisfying to use. And now the side clicks. They're actually a little heavier than the front clicks and their placement is perfect. So when you're holding it, it's right there within reach. Now let's try out that scroll wheel. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that scroll wheel is completely silent. It has a really, really nice bearing. It's super silent and there's no gummy resistance as I'm scrolling through. I really like that. It's kind of raised and that's perfect. I don't know if you guys scroll this way, but I know I like to scroll on the side here. And now time to see that light right there because I can tell there's going to be RGB. So one, two, three. That's it. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, some nice RGB. It's very sharp. Boom. Look at that. Oh, nice. So let's see if it lives up to the claim that it is the most accurate gaming mouse. Let's go to the test station. All right, All right let's, let's do, do it. it. All right, so I'm gonna test how precise this is with flick shots. I'm gonna start at the bottom here and I'm gonna go diagonally upwards and try to shoot this window here. And that's the trick here. I'm gonna try to flick it and see if I can keep the bullets kind of grouped in a similar place here, in the window. I mean, I'm close enough. Not all inside, but like kind of pretty well grouped here. You wanna give it a shot? Yeah. This window is pretty big, but for the most part, it's fairly, uh, it's very consistent. I'm impressed by that sensor. On to test number two. And to test our accuracy with the Logitech G Pro, we're gonna be doing a headshot only mode. And this means that we can't kill these guys unless we shoot them in the head. The sensor feels really responsive to the movements I'm doing. Obviously, I'm not, I'm not very good at this, so I'm overshooting a lot of it, but I can feel it when I'm doing that. Do you wanna give it a shot? Yeah, let's give it a shot.
It's a little getting used to it. So far, it's actually pretty precise. Osu time. For this one, it combines both accuracy and precision. Okay. Roland, you want to try it out? <laughs> Be ready to laugh, my friend. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is going so fast. I see a lot of 300. Am I an Osu master? Osu. Oh, is that it? Right, let's see it. <laughs> <laughs> let's do a real game. Can you do this with any other mouse? You cannot. Boom. You got it. Boom. Oh, now you get the real boom. Oh, I have no guns, nothing. I have an EVA-8 Auto, is that good? I also have the uh, Prowler. Should I switch it for the Mozambique, the Longbow? I never played this game, but I feel like I understand it exactly. R99 and Devotion. Wingman or P20? Hemlock or Bear? Oh no, that's Bear also does. G7 Scout, Peacemaker, Triple Take, VK47 Flatline, RE45, Alternator, SMG, is that good? Oh yeah, that's a good one. Ray Uhu. -huh. Ray Uhu. -huh. Uhu. -huh. There's another person, just with that, what else nope. right there? Oh, I went back in the sky! Wait! How? What the heck? There's people here. I have no gun. Oh, I'm so screwed. Someone's here. I'm suiciding with an aid. Wait, I knocked her down with my punches! She oh has a gun! God. You're crazy! Watch out, there's no one, no, no one coming. I killed her! Surprise. Oh, he's dead. Oh, we got him. Let's go. I got one. I got one. We got him. I got two. I had it. Nice. We killed him. Oh, I killed him like that. Wow, wow, wow. You need to go. <laughs> do you know the way? I do know the way. What are you eating? Chips. Hey, what, I want to see a cool chick. Yeah. So, we want to know, is this mouse the most accurate gaming mouse? If you look at my flick shots, it looked like spaghetti splattered all over the wall. Oh no. Maybe I needed a bit more time with it. It was definitely a comfortable mouse. Most accurate? I don't know yet. But I know Ricky actually had really good time with it and his shots were perfect. Throughout that whole time, there's one thing about this mouse that impressed the crap out of me, and it's that sensor. That thing provided the most insane amount of accuracy. And I wanna, you know, back up that claim and say, that's pretty true. Okay, so for anyone else who wants to try this out for themselves, Cells. You can get the Logitech G Pro Wired Gaming Mouse in the links down below. Yo, I, I don't think you're supposed to click that fast from Minesweeper, man. What do you mean? Yeah, There's like, bombs all over the place. I gotta, I gotta run away. Are, are you trying to get the bombs or dodge the bombs? What's going on? <laughs> I'm dodging the bombs, dude. Okay, we'll see you later. All right.